Jeff, do you remember your first tour? I try not to. <laughs> well, I can understand that. But sometimes it's important to remember the significance of combat. Remember our recon missions in the Helmet Valley? Our convoy had an IED and was ambushed. Corporal Hammond took a hit, and you carried him through incoming fire back to cover him. Yeah, he died in my arms. <laughs> yes, but you risked your life to pull him out of there. You're the will of a hero, son. That's greater than any intellect or combat prowess. A man of unstoppable will can wear down any resistance until there's nothing left between him and his goal. I'm not afraid of what Jane uncovered. I'm afraid of what you'll do to avenge her. Four! An incredible drive by the phenomenal Rudy McDougal! A hole in one! The crowd goes wild! <laughs> Great golf swing, Rudy! Ooh. Wow, look at those outfits! Who are you? <laughs> We're here to sell you on a new comic book idea, Rudy. It's gonna make you rich. I'm already rich. Beetleborg's Metallics is the number one comic in the world. You call that a comic? What would you call it? Trash? Fanatical man-made religion motivated that attack. Pure man-made insanity. The murderer who killed my brother prayed to an evil imaginary friend. What's that cool air coming from? You! Who are you? What are you doing in here? Who are you talking to? <laughs> ladies. If I can actually call you ladies! Now I'm losing a ton of money to Chastity Knott's pub. All the men in town are over there instead of coming here to my bikini bar. What are you bitching at us for, eh? Oh, the boobies. Get your tails on stage and do your stuff! Entertain with few customers I got! Look, Billy, I'm not trying to be an asshole, but we got three days to reshingle the roof and paint this godforsaken place. We may be fortunate to have full use of the cabin for the weekend, but I want to get out of here just as soon as possible. Have you ever noticed how quiet the forest is around here? I haven't heard a single bird chirp or seen as much as a goddamn squirrel. I don't know about you, but this place sure gives me the creeps. Oh, you think that's funny, tough guy? <laughs> Come on, let's get to work. It'll be dark soon. Where's my house? Where is it? I don't think you'll want to see it, George. Clarence, where is it? Tell me, tell me, Clarence. It's on the same street, three blocks east of here. There's gotta be an easier way to do this. What are you doing? You take your hands off of her. I'm very sorry, man. I'm very sorry, man. These kids today, you can't do a thing with them. I will not be buying the ticket to the policeman's ball. Well, I hope you reconsider, ma'am. Not like that. I'll deal with that boy directly. Tommy, don't you know who that is? That's Mama Dolly. And nobody handcuffs Mama Dolly. I don't care if you saw her set the courthouse on fire with a blowtorch. Nobody handcuffs Mama Dolly. I didn't work the Nagoda account. Why am I here exactly? I don't like you, Johnson. You called us in here in the middle of the night because what? You're mad about the Nagoda account? The shareholders. They, they forced me to resign. Just you or the whole department? Just me. Well, in that case, fuck this. Mr. Garrity, it's been a real treat working under you. Hell. Maybe they'll even hire me as your replacement. 
But for now, I'm going home to get some goddamn sleep. Sit down, Murphy! Hey, what the fuck's the axe for? Motivation. Holy shit! What the hell are you doing, sir? Susie! Let the minute show the 327! I put an axe through Alex Murphy's heart! I just put the axe down, man. What the fuck? Meeting adjourned.